Man, let me start by saying right off the bat, I know this ain't related to the optic. This PCC by Wyndham Weaponry. Welcome back to the channel. Now, I know I've been covering optics quite a bit lately, and there's a reason for that. Budget red dots are a huge thing in the market these days. Their low prices are very appealing, and you can usually get some pretty good results out of these things, most of the time. The Bushnell TRS-26 is a 3MOA red dot, and it comes with an introductory price of around $139.99, which I guess puts it in the same category as the Vortex Crossfire. But this TRS-26 has a few upgraded features that the Crossfire doesn't. So we're gonna do a little bit of comparison. You know the next part, here we go. Now, let's dive in a little bit closer to this red dot, but first let me go grab a Vortex Crossfire because I really want to do some comparison to that. Probably because it's around the same price range. Here you can see the TRS-26 right next to the Vortex Crossfire. The Vortex Crossfire comes in at about 130 bucks. This TRS-26 comes in right around 139.99. Now these are just MSRPs and I'm sure you can find them a little bit cheaper. But let's see what you're getting for $10 more on an MSRP than this guy. This right here is one of my favorite features on the TRS-26. You got these very tactile controls that the Crossfire does not have. Now, in order to turn on the Crossfire and do your brightness adjustments, you're gonna have to twist this dial. Bushnell threw in the button controls. I love that. It just makes it way easier versus sitting there and twisting the dial. And a lot of times those dials, they have breaks in between settings. Meaning, if you switch from one setting to the next, the first click, it's totally gonna turn the optic off. And then the next setting is gonna be your brighter or less bright setting, whatever you choose. Now right here, all you gotta do is push these buttons. This will power on your optic, this will adjust your brightness settings, and by holding down this one for two seconds, it will totally turn your optic off. Like I said before, one of my favorite features. I absolutely love push button controls. Sweet little dot. Now you can tell these optics are about the same size. So as far as taking up real estate on your firearm, it's gonna be about the same. Now the TRS-26 is going to come in at 2.756 inches in length. That's not that long, so it still leaves you plenty of room to mount backup sights, whatever other attachments you want to run. And it's a fairly light optic. It's not going to add a lot of weight to your firearm. And I know I've stated this in previous videos, I don't like adding too much weight to my firearms. So the TRS-26 comes in at exactly 6 ounces. It's pretty light. The TRS-26 is an addition to Bushnell's AR line of optics, which from my prior experience has been a pretty good line of optics. I use their 1 to 8 power on my 14 and a half inch build and I absolutely love it. As a matter of fact, I actually did a review video on that optic, so if that's something you want to watch, I'll put it right at the end of this video for you. Usually you're going to see two MOA dots on these kind of optics, but Bushnell gave this TRS-26 a 3 MOA dot, which I'm not opposed to. The actual dot in this optic was very easy to pick up in broad daylight situations. I ran this optic in full sunshine and I didn't have any issues picking it up. Just like the rest of their optics, you're going to have a fully multi-coated lens. Now what that does, that helps increase light transmission and it also cuts down on shooter signature. I don't care what situation you're in, all optics should have that feature. You're going to have 12 brightness settings and the highest settings are very easy to pick up in broad daylight. I really want to stress that factor because I have used optics in the past and even on the highest setting, it was still very hard to pick those up in broad daylight situations. Now these turret caps do come right off, which allows you to make your adjustments. Turret caps are another must. You want to protect these things from getting banged up, smashed, readjusted accidentally. They got some pretty good nicks, pretty good scrapes on them. What can I say, this thing got beat up a little bit, but it held up. When I was zeroing this optic for the first time and making my adjustments, the turret adjustments are very clicky, they're very tactile. I love that. I've had optics in the past where you go to make an adjustment and it just feels mushy. It's hard to even tell that you're making an adjustment. So the fact that Bushnell took the time on these turrets says a lot. Now the click value on these turrets is going to be 1 MOA. 
If you're not familiar with MOAs, I highly suggest that you go check out a video on YouTube. There's tons of them. Your adjustment range is going to be 140 plus MOA and your MOA per revolution is going to be 36. So there's quite a bit of an adjustment range with this optic. Now this comes with your standard Picatinny mount, but this optic is compatible with other T1 mounts. This optic is waterproof, shockproof, and fogproof. Bushnell put O-rings inside of this optic to fully seal it. They say you can fully submerge this optic in water and the insides are going to stay totally dry. Granted, I don't recommend doing that, but I'm putting that information in there for you to know. Some people train in various conditions, and that's a huge upsell to people. I ran this optic in about 34 degree weather, I'd say for a period of about two hours. I didn't have any fogging issues or anything like that. The clarity through the glass was always there. Now, that's pretty important. I live in northern Wisconsin, and it's winter time damn near six months out of the year, so I do a lot of shooting in the cold. And if an optic can't hold up to that kind of weather, I don't want anything to do with it. It's not suitable for my environment then. This is powered by one CR2032 battery, which is going to give you the industry standard 50,000 hour battery life. Granted, that all depends on the setting that you keep it on, but the battery life is there. Now I do have to mention that this optic did not come with any dust caps. Is that a deal breaker to me? No. Personally, I hate dust caps. I hate fiddling with them. I hate taking them off. I hate the thought of having to do that in some type of emergency situation. Now you see these dust caps on the crossfire? Real flimsy, they always fall off. Even when you're putting your gun in the storage bag, they just fall off. I was pretty impressed by this little optic. You know, the huge, huge field of view on this thing makes it very easy to look through. It doesn't strain your eyes. It makes a real fast target engagement. Look at the size of that window. I'll say I'm a fan of this little dot, especially for the price. Now there is a downfall to this, and I do have to mention it because that's what I do. When I use this optic in low light situations, that right there, you can see it. You kind of see that red tint, that red glare, and it's all dependent on the angle that you're holding this optic at. Granted, when it's directly at eye level, you don't see it too much, but if you move your head just the slightest amount, there's a good chance that you're gonna see that red tint. That I'm not the biggest fan of. Why that happens, I'm not 100% sure. But I had to point that out to you, so keep that in mind. Granted, this might not be the perfect optic for CQB situations. You're not gonna see spec op dudes running around with a Bushnell TRS-26 on their rifles. Now I will say for plinking and range purposes, training scenarios, this is a great little dot. This is a very cool looking optic. They put the side cuts right in there, which I do like. It adds that stealth look to it. They have the nice window cuts on their mount for weight reduction. I can respect that. But you know as well as I do, looks aren't everything. It comes down to performance. This thing held up. I banged it up pretty hard, and I didn't have any issues. Bushnell has been proving that the quality is there with their AR line of optics. Introductory prices, big performance, what more can you ask for? At the end of the day, would I buy this optic, would I run it, and would I recommend it to you? Let me sum this up real quick. Oh hell yes. For the price that you're paying, you're getting a great dot. This thing's gonna cover you from plinking purposes. I wouldn't even hesitate to put this on a home defense firearm. That's just me, you make up your own mind. Guys, as always, thank you for stopping in, stay vigilant, and I will see you next time.